Capitol Hill today, dropping a major bombshell. Watch. I think spying on a political campaign is a big deal. Yes, I think spying did occur. Yeah. The question is whether it was predicated, adequately predicated. And I'm not suggesting it wasn't adequately predicated, but I need to explore that. I am not saying that improper surveillance occurred. I'm saying that I am concerned about it and looking into it. That's all. This comes on the heels of learning that Barr has assembled a team to investigate the origins of the FBI investigation into Trump's 2016 campaign. Many Democrats are criticizing the attorney general for what they say is unacceptable handling of the Mueller report. I believe the attorney general of the United States of America believes he needs to protect the president of the United States. The White House should not be briefed before Congress sees the entire uh, sees the entire document. It indicates that the attorney general sees the president as his client, not the country as his client. Uh, I thought that was pretty striking, um, that he would not take advantage of this opportunity today to say clearly and forcefully the White House was not briefed. I asked him whether he discussed it with the White House. At that point, he just shut down. So it was clear to me that the White House had some input in the letter. And President Trump is pushing back against those claims. I have not seen the Mueller report. I have not read the Mueller report. I won. No collusion, no obstruction. I won. Everybody knows I won, and the pros knew it was illegally started. The whole thing was illegal. All right, Jesse, tell us why this isn't news. Well, it's not news to Fox News because we've been reporting. I mean, this. Oh, why it's big news? <laughs> why it's big news? <laughs> I think it's big news to people at MSNBC and CNN because this came out of the blue for them. Fox News has been reporting this for over a year and a half because we know this has been confirmed reporting. The New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post have all said that multiple Trump officials were electronically surveilled during the campaign. Manafort, Papadopoulos. Carter, Carter Page, and Mike Flynn. Now, the question is, and we know also human intelligence assets were used when people went over to Great Britain and in London. We know Chris Steele was involved, Stefan Halper, Joseph Massoud. There's a London Wow, connection. you know a lot. I do. I do. I, you know, is this Hannity or is this the fire? <laughs> so, Good question. So, so we, we know that. Now, the question is, was it legally justified to launch a counterintelligence investigation into an opponent's political campaign? What was the evidence? There was traitorous activity. Let's what was the evidence? There was collusion. Right now, we know there was no collusion and there was no conspiracy. So when you present to the FISA court a warrant application, you have to have verified information. There was no verified information. We know the Steele dossier was not verified. So it looks like right now, political bias mm. drove and the president the spy. said that he um, is thinking about, and I, I, I presume they're waiting for the report to be released by Barr, but that he might uh, declassify all of those underlying documents, the FISA documents that Jesse just mentioned. That would be amazing. Obviously, the more transparency, the better. I, I, what boggles my mind are those that are questioning AG bars or anyone's attempt to investigate this. Our individual rights against unreasonable or warrantless searches is fundamental to this country, right? It, obviously, it's the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution. I do not understand why any type of um, kind of expounding any type of governmental limits should be accepted without an investigation. What was the Patriot Act? What were the million lawsuits that came after that when people freaked out when that was used to solicit information from media or look into individuals who went to Las Vegas or copyright infringement? Random things, right? Remember that? Remember the overreach? Or what about facial technology in public places? So why here, why now? Is this all of a sudden okay to those on the left? You know, that's a great point, if, if you don't mind, just for one second, because a lot of the civil liberties people did raise that issue after the war on terror begun. What if they look into personal stuff? What if this is exploited by politicians or the government? Mm -hmm. And now people said, no, that's not going to happen. It's being used on Al-Qaeda and our enemies. And it looks like it happened to a, an opposing political campaign. Okay, so 